Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing an update today for you um, for my swimming world journey. I think it's week 58, I think. Um, if it's not, um, I leave on the screen or in the title, um, whatever week it is, because um, I'm a bit far behind. Um, so, uh, it is Saturday today and I weighed in on Tuesday. Um, I actually stayed to class this week. Um, I haven't stayed for so long um, because everything that was going on with Cleo and you know, I just wasn't feeling great. Um, but I made time for myself and um, really enjoyed it actually. So um, when I weighed in, I gained two and a half pounds, which puts me at five stone half a pound lost, um, which I'm still really, really happy with um, because from the time um, where we lost, um, where we lost Cleo up until this Tuesday just gone, um, I wasn't focused, I wasn't on plan 100%, you know, I wasn't off completely, I'm sorry, um, I wasn't off completely, but, you know, I was not as focused as I could have been then, you know, I wasn't having my A's and B's, I wasn't really looking at sins, so, you know, to me it could have been a lot worse. I did go, I did get back on plan the day after my birthday, which was the 1st of November, so for that week from the 1st of November right through to the Tuesday, I was completely on plan. Um, I wasn't eating, um, you know, as much as I should have because, you know, when I'm not feeling great, you know, with pain and my anxiety and, you know, my mental health's not been great since we lost Cleo and it's been a really rough few days. Um, but I just don't eat. So that's one of... That is one of my biggest um, issues. It's just that I think, oh, well, I'll just wait until later. I'll just wait until later. And then, you know, I have one meal and then, you know, I struggle to have my A and B and et cetera. So I was, you know, obviously I never want to see again, but I was happy with that amount. You know, I think I must have put on a lot more than that. Um, but, you know, that week on plan sort of brought it back um, into an acceptable game for me then really you know and my consultant was brilliant she was just like really happy to see me because I've not really seen her for the last like three weeks um you know and when she spoke to me um when it was my turn for image therapy you know she just asked me how I was and you know what my plan was really and it's Christmas next month so she was talking about that you know and how to um stay on track with Christmas um last year over Christmas I actually lost weight I lost two and a half pounds um I think we weighed in the Tuesday after Christmas I think Christmas was on a Sunday was it I'm not sure um I think it was but you know I've got a plan for Christmas I want to do the same as I did last year so you know I'm happy with that I'm not really panicking about Christmas I am a little bit sort of like you know because I want to make sure that I stay on track. I don't want to deprive myself. Um, you know, perhaps I might do another video on, you know, uh, how I plan to tackle Christmas. Um, so yeah, I might put, I might put another, I might do another video on that, you know, in a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, you know, it was really good. Um, you know, I gained the two and a half pounds and it just reminds me that we're all human and you know I'm really I am really focused and I'm really determined to lose this weight you know because I want to get a target and I know I will but the things that have happened to me um you know me and my family my husband over the last six months have been just you know things that don't normally happen so you know I've got to give myself a bit of credit so anyway that's that done. Image therapy, like I said, was really good. Um, she told us that we'll be weighing in on Christmas Eve, which is the Sunday, which I don't mind because um, we Christmas Day is the Tuesday when our class is. And she said she had the option of Boxing Day to weigh or Christmas Eve. So she chose Christmas Eve, which I'm happy with because I think that on Christmas Eve, you know, 
<clears throat> she'll be opening her class early on that morning you know even if you don't want to stay you know you can just go away and then come home so it's not as if it's going to take a lot of time out of the day and plus then you know you can sort of get into the Christmas spirit and then if you know you want to start um with all the lovely Christmas um you know munchies and things then obviously you can um but I'm happy with that and then we wouldn't weigh again until the 2nd of January excuse me so yeah that's good um so I'm happy with that and we just talked about you know she was quite um you know straight to the point like you know if you want to if you want to do it then you have to sort of make certain choices not sacrifices because you don't have to in the slimming world but you know you have to make certain choices um like for me I'm not really doing anything we are going to my parents for Christmas day um so Christmas dinner um and that's about it I haven't got anything planned I haven't got any Christmas parties or you know the only thing that might happen is like me and my husband might you know decide to go out for a meal or something um but we normally always go to we always we always normally go somewhere where I can choose something that I know isn't going to be like full of sins um or if we do we normally go on a Tuesday after I've weighed so you know I'm happy with that um in group I bought some hi-fi bars I haven't bought any for a while I had the chalk maroon ones um, just for a change and different because I always have salted caramel because it's my favorite um, I also bought um, something as well I had a bit of um, birthday money left so I thought um, I would get something so a couple of weeks ago or may have been even a couple of months ago um, there was an offer on with Slimming World um, to do a 12 week countdown and then you got a free book with it um, and I really wanted the book but I couldn't really afford a 12 week countdown um, so in group when she was talking to me I, was like, I said oh you know when is that book out because I'm sure she said December um, because I really wanted to get it and I don't normally get recipe books because I'm not the most I'm not the most adventurous when it comes to cooking but this one I thought would be really good so it's this one it's the Slimming World Comfort Collection. And this one is really, really good. It's four, $4.95 and there is um, over 60 recipes and 22 slow cooker recipes, which is really good um, for me because I can just chuck the stuff in there, leave it to go. And then if I'm not feeling great, I can go back to bed for a nap or I can just get on with whatever I'm doing and go back to it. So... Um, there's lots and lots of lovely recipes in you and easy ones as well because I'm not the best but I will show you what I actually made yesterday it was a slow cooker recipe um, I just put it in when I got up and it took about three out three three and a half hours um, and it was really really easy so it's actually this one I don't know if you can see but it's mushroom risotto there and there you go that's what it looks like and it was really, really good. It was really, really nice. I've got, um, I had a portion yesterday and I've had some today for my lunch. Um, we went out for haircuts, so as you can see, my fringe is now cut. It always goes a bit funny um, after I've had a cut for the first time, but it's so much better now. It's not in my face. And I don't know if you can see, but I've had my hair chopped off so yeah we went out for haircuts my husband got a bag of chips and he said oh you know do you want any and oh, to be fair I could have you know at the lot but I thought no you know I'm gonna stick on plan because I want to try if I could get my five and a half stone by Christmas because obviously I lost quite a few weeks with everything going on if I could get my five and a half stone by Christmas then you know I'd be happy and I think that's about a pound a week so you know if I have some good weeks under my belt you know I could easily lose two or three pound in a week but I'd be happy if I could get my five and a half stone but if I don't I don't you know it's not something I'm going to put pressure on but this recipe was really really good um I've got I think I've got two portions left um so this um is all free 
uh, the recipe is completely free there's um, mushrooms and onion in there for speed so it's like the chestnut mushrooms like I always find I always think that they remind me a bit of they, they're a bit meatier like in a bit nuttier um, and they're chestnut mushrooms so I really like those and also dried mushrooms which I've never had before um, but yeah really really easy to do so you know if anyone's interested then you know I can I'll by all means I'll you know I'll, I'll share it I'm ha I'm happy to do that um you know there's lots of different things in here um let's see what was the other thing you know there's that one there which looks really good I don't know if you can see that there's that one and there's the there's a mac and cheese recipe in here which looks amazing let me see if I can find it for you um let's see so many nice things and you know I think that's why I wanted to get it because I thought that you know I always like easy things to do and comfort food as well I bet I won't be able to find it now oh here it is this one doesn't that look lush <laughs> I really, really want to make that. I think I will um, in a couple of weeks. I think I'll plan to get all the things to go in there. Um, that's the, oh, that's what it's called. It's Collie Mac and Cheese with Gammon and it really looks nice. Um, so that's probably something that I am going to make in the future. But I would really recommend this book if you go to a group or if you're an online member, um, you know, grab it from the bookshop. Um, yeah, so that's really good. My mother also gave me a recipe. Um, it's called Quick Fix Cheesy Pasta Bake. So that one looks quite good as well. Um, she goes to a different class to me, the one that I used to go to before I switched to the one closer to me. And um, her consultant, my old consultant, always writes them out or, you know, prints them out on here. But my new consultant, she sends recipes nearly every day through WhatsApp. So, you know, I've got lots of different, excuse me, lots of different things. Um, so this one sounds really good as well. So that might be something to make because I think pasta bake is quite comforting. And to me anyway, I really, really like that. So yeah, that's my news on weight loss um, or weight gain. Um, but yeah, so I've still got five stone and half a pound lost, which, you know, is still a lot of weight to lose. And I just got to see how I go now over the next couple of weeks. Um, so what else? Uh, health wise, um, I'm still in a lot of pain. Um, it's been, I've had my letter from the rheumatologist, I don't know if I said this in my last video, I can't remember, sorry. Um, I've had my letter from the rheumatologist to say that I've been referred, so I'm just waiting for um, a letter now to say that I've got my appointment and I'm still waiting for the pain clinic as well. So hopefully in the next couple of months, those few things will sort themselves out. Um, I had a letter this morning from um, the benefit people this is the DWP and um, basically saying I've got my assessment which is the 4th of December for ESA so I'm a bit <laughs> I'm a bit scared about that because I have heard horror stories um but you know if any of you guys have ever had an assessment for ESA um or anything you know the face-to-face -face one um it's basically to see whether or not they'll put me into the support group so that means that I don't have to send any more sick notes in which I'm doing now every sort of a month or so um, my doctor's fine you know my doctor's great she'll, she'll just do them she rings me up and she just says you know how are you feeling is everything you know still the same and she knows because obviously the blood, blood results and things um are showing abnormal um and you know my vitamin d and everything so she just says you know they, they've that's what they've got to do so you know it's pretty much just how are you feeling da -da -da. you want to know it yeah and that's it but it would be so nice to not have to do that um, anymore. Um, 
but yeah you know if any of you guys have had a ESA assessment um, or any kind of assessment you know face-to-face -face assessment for benefits you know please let me know in the comments down below you know if you've got any tips or advice um, or you know point me in the direction to any videos on YouTube you know that would be greatly appreciated because I don't really have a clue and like I said I've heard horror stories about them um, you know like they watch every move and different things so yeah hopefully it'll be okay though um so yeah there's nothing really else to update you guys on um i've told you about how my weight loss has been going this week has been going really well um wednesday um was an example of a day that i didn't eat um i was sorting some bits out because i was having like a <sighs> I was having a bad day wednesday you know missing Cleo a lot um very emotional it's been like that the last couple of days I don't know why but it's like as if something has just set it off um and I was really busy and you know just sorting through things and trying to keep my mind off it and then it got to Wednesday night and I was like oh, I haven't eaten so um, my husband said right don't worry because he could see that I was you know struggling a bit so we ordered a Chinese but what I had was I checked the app and I had a boiled rice, which was free, and it was quite a big portion. And I had a chicken chop suey, which it says in on the app that it's nine and a half sins with noodles, but this one didn't have any noodles. It was just all veg. It was like bean sprouts and different things and chicken. So I'm assuming it would be less, but I counted the nine and a half anyway. Um, I had some poppadoms, which were two sins each. And then I had six sins worth of prawn crackers. So. You know, I was up to about 20 sins, I think, that day, um, you know, which was fine. Um, but I didn't have my A and B. So Wednesday, I was on plan, but not completely. Not that I, you know, went completely off track. Um, and then Thursday, I think Thursday, yeah, was fine. And then yesterday, um, uh, yeah, I think Thursday I had the toffee apple oh yeah that's that's another thing sorry I'm all over the place I won the raffle on Tuesday and um, I had it was different things in there there was milk and there was the new um, healthy extra B it's the toffee apple Quaker's oats in the sachets um, and that's basically what I won so I was quite happy with that I tried it on Thursday it's really nice um, I added a bit more syrup to mine so I put some of the English toffee skinny syrup in and that was really good um, so yeah and then I made the risotto yesterday which I had for lunch and then for tea I had sausages jacket potato and veg with gravy so you know and I had my A and B so yeah you know it's 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 just taking one day at a time and you know the days where I'm struggling not not on food it's I'm struggling with you know just grief really I suppose um and my mental health is not great but you know I'm, I'm getting there and I'm just gonna take it one day at a time and try and remain positive which is all I can really do at the minute but yeah so I am going to go now because I can't think of anything else that I need to update you on um yeah so thank you so much everybody for watching as always your support means so much to me um you know when I made this channel I just think that I was like, oh, you know, it's not going to be, um, it's, it's not going to be something that I would enjoy, but I actually do enjoy it. So, you know, and seeing you guys support comments and liking my videos and asking how I'm doing things, you know, it really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, hi to my new subscribers and hi to everybody else. If you're not subscribed already, hit that button down below and come along on my journey with me. It really would mean a lot. Um, and yeah, comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. You know, have you had your way in yet? How have you done? You know, how is your week going? Have you got any recipes or tips or anything? Um, and yeah, any tips or anything and advice about the assessment as well down below would be great but yeah I'd love to hear from you and if you guys need any support or help please just let me know I'm always here for for you all um so yeah I'm gonna go now thank you so 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 much guys and I'll see you in the next video bye